Hey guys, in the previous video I have installed an autopsy forensic till and now I'm going to open a new case. As I have mentioned earlier, I have a pre-analyzed image that I'm going to work on. If you haven't got an image, you can simply use an USB which has some data to build a case. Now I'll just double click autopsy to open. Okay, um, and create a new case. So it's asking for a case number. Oh, I'm sorry, case name. Um, anything you want to do, but I'm going to do it. New case. Uh, base directory where it's supposed to be saved. So I'm going to just say select that. Okay, if you have any specific folder that you want the case to be saved, make sure you choose that path and then click next. And then here you need to fill some more details such as case number. Um, again, type anything relevant to the case. I'm gonna call it case 101. Name um, autopsy one. Phone number, just type in seven 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 seven. You don't have to fill in these details if you don't want to, and if you have an organization, um, you could click this option and add your organization information. So I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna click um, finish. Now the case has been created. Um, it depends on what sort of evidence um, you need to add, whether if it's a virtual image file, disk image, or is it a local disk from your local computer, is it a logical file, and many more. So I have a disk image just on my desktop, as you could see here, so I'm going to click with disk image, and then uh, click next. Um, set the time zone, okay, I need to choose the path first. Um, it's on my desktop images um, e.01 file there you go and then I'm gonna leave the time zone as it is because um, it's the right one and I'm gonna click next here uh, before I proceed I want to um, the one thing I'm going to do is um, uncheck the Android analyzer. Uh, the reason is it is not relevant to this case. Um, if you have an Android phone then of course you uh, check this one. Um, in this case it is not, it's a disk image so I'm gonna uncheck that one. Um, I don't need the Plazo option as well which is already um, unchecked. Um, this basically extracts various timestamps or various type of files. And again, before I click next, I want to um, point to the keyword search. By default, not everything is checked. So I want everything checked because this in future, this may, we can do some keyword search to identify the phone numbers or email addresses or URLs the person visited. So I'm gonna check all of that and then I'm gonna click next. And uh, now um, it's verifying the files. Um, sometimes it takes time. It depends on how big um, the file is. If it is more than 100 gig, um, it will take up to uh, 15 to 20 minutes. If it's less than 100 or 50, it will take um, five, up to five minutes. Um, in this case, um, it's done. Data source has been added to the local database. Uh, files are being analyzed. There you go. It took less than a minute. Then I'm going to click finish. And um, okay, now it is done scanning anyway. Just give it a few seconds as sometimes it may take some time to show up in the database. Uh, which shows up, you know, it's kind of like when it started, it was the lower number, so it's still loading up from 20 to 26. I would say roughly give it about a minute or two until everything loads up um, in the database. And now uh, once done, then we could go on and check everything um, one by one. 
Uh, okay. That's it for this one to, for how to create a new case and in the next videos I'm going into detail in a lot of uh, different areas so you have a better idea how to do it by yourself. Um, that's everything for this video and thank you for watching.